speaker speaks to the spirit of gym. We are a coalition of community groups and labor bill because we believe that our schools are all the schools in the city of Chicago. Our schools are all the schools that are publicly funded. So our last speaker is Officer Jesse Sharkey of CTU, who is going to speak to our vision in the way that we get it. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, sister brothers. Um, I, I, be, I want to begin just by being clear that um, the group of people who are standing here right now um, represent an incredibly vital part of our school community in the city of Chicago. Um, you see a coalition between teachers and students in the classrooms, between parents and community members out in our neighborhoods, and you put it together, and this is what public education and advocacy for public education looks like. And I want you to keep this picture in mind as you contrast it to what advocacy for public education does not look like. Because behind us is a gleaming steel and glass building that houses the Department of Education where Bessie DeVos runs an office which is systematically undermining public education in this country. Yes. Yes. Her department is on a wrecking mission. Yes. It's a wrecking crew against public schools. Yes. Yes. And then when yes. she talks about vouchers, let's be clear, that undermines and is frankly meant to destroy public education as we know it. Yes. Yes. As an institution that d d delivers high quality public education that is universal, that is compulsory, and is free to all people in our society with a means, as a means and as a, as a method to uplift all of our society's generation of young yes. and to realize their human potential. That is what we're for, it is not what she's for. That's right. That's right. I'm telling you, she is trying to sabotage public education. She is trying to wreck public education. She is truly a fox guarding the hen house. Now I want to turn to the weasel who's guarding the hen house, Rahm Emanuel. Ronnie Emanuel. That's right. Um, the weasel. <laughs> because, yeah. frankly, um, Rahm's policies have been weasel like. For while he claims to defend public education, he has also promoted choice as a way to uplift public schools. Choices undermine public education. Starting with his predecessor, Mayor Daley, who began a campaign to open high schools of choice. So we went from 80 right. public high schools in the city to 140 at the exact same time that he was cutting resources to the communities that send people into the public schools. Yes. Right. So why do you almost double high schools at the same time you destroy the supports feed into high schools? Right. It's a program to close high schools, make no mistake. And so when several years ago they closed 50, high, 50 public schools, elementary schools, in almost entirely black neighborhoods, that was just right. a precursor to what we think is going to come this December, which is the closing of 50 more schools. Oh, no. And so we have to say clearly, no closing public no, schools, no, invest no. in those schools. No. Invest in our school no. communities. That's what we demand there. Right. Furthermore, those same policies of austerity, being um, uh, justified by language about choice, let's be clear, that has cut public libra school librarians, that has cut social workers, that has cut um, teachers, art programs, and the other vital supports that our schools need to serve our students. So we've seen Rahm's policies undermine our schools. Now why would he do that? And it's simple, it's the same reason that Bessie DeVos would do it. It's because talk of choice is really a pretext for cutting taxes on the rich and for opening up our schools to a for-profit education sector and people who hope to gain by letting market forces, letting the profit motive into our schools. That's going on at work in Chicago. It's going on the work with DeVos. We have a fight to stop both Rahm Emanuel and Bessie DeVos. That's and we, 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 we looks like. We we what the coalition looks like that's going to stop that. You can count on us to stick together and fight to defend public education and the people who go to work every day in our schools and the people who depend on our schools. Um, we'll be there together for that. So let's all together, let's say, fight to, public, fight to defend public education, fight against the treacherers, fight against the foxes, fight against the weasels, fight to defend our schools, all together, public education. Public education. Thank you. Not we choose, not choice. 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 We choose 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 not choice. We cho
this office, we understand that all the things that we say today is a clear articulation of our vision that is being undermined by the privatization agenda. So we are going to go in and deliver this letter, and we are going to go in and occupy this space and demand that they say what side they are on. That's right.